hi welcome back to um, my Battlestar Galactica deadlock videos um, so in the first video I basically shown you uh, the basics of the commands of how you command your ship how you do this that and the other and how you use a map and um, this is now the second chapter um, Athena Pycon um, so we need to rescue the ship and deliver it to Pycon so this screen didn't come up before um, as you can see we have our main ship there the Daedalus whatever it is, <laughs> we have our four other ships. So this is basically just a case of L1 and R1, and you can assign the ships whatever position you want. Personally, I've never really changed these. Um, you can also change how high you want them to start. Um, I imagine in some levels this may be useful um, if you know what's coming, but at this stage you don't know what's coming, so... I don't really care about this bit. So we're going done. And we'll start chapter two. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Jump complete. Dratus contacts bearing 017, Karam 021. Pycon and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all. Right, so there's our main ship again, and there's our four ships. So, one, two, three, four. Um, you can build different ships, but as you saw in the previous one, at the moment we've got no blueprints for the different ships, so I've just opted to make four of the same. <laughs> um, we know that there's going to be something there, there, and there. So, I am going to be risky, and I'm going to actually send someone to each of those. Um, so if I just yes, sir. Let's start from the beginning. Actually, let's um, release our squadrons. I, I always do that just in case. You can save them, and um, if the enemies get yes, close to your main ship, they'll come out and try and protect it. Uh, but personally, I just send them all out at the beginning, which I know probably isn't the best thing to do, but it's what I do. Right, there's Athena Jupiter inside me. Can that do anything? Oh, that can actually attack. Okay, so the oh, there's the Athena. There, in front of us. Um, starts its own squadrons as well, so I've just sent those out. So we've actually got two lots of squadrons now so that's good so we'll end our turn and see if we meet anyone don't think we will on this turn oh wait right so we have spotted one it's a little one there see where it is it is a war driver squadron so it's a little squadron, so it's one of those like we've sent out two lots of two. Um, so it's a couple of those. And um, they're a pain in the ass, actually, I've just remembered. <laughs> they, um, you might see it in this uh, playthrough, but they basically... Um, oh, have I got an enemy as well? got an enemy as well. Yes, sir. Um, they can go behind your, your ships and they can, like, electrocute it and it will gradually drain your ship uh, to the point of like you lose your weapons and you just lose all control of your own ship and that and it, it becomes a pain in the ass so you need to try and take those out as soon as so i just tend to get the squadrons to attack them understood while we attack the main ships so you're going to go forward, so I'm going to give you the command to um, focus on that little one for now. Um, you can carry on in that direction because we don't know what's coming. You, we do know what's yes, there, sir. so I'm going to attack. Missile tubes prepped. Missiles. And you can just carry on going there, but we do know it's a lot further yes, down, commander. so let's go down a bit. Right, let's see how that plays out. Hostile unit identified. 
Alright, so... Uh, Hostile unit identified. Great. So, on this side, we've spotted him. He's got no shield left at the front, so... Uh, oh, let's do it in order, actually. So we know that these two are attacking. This one, we now have a main ship to attack. So let's do that. Missiles on their way. Um, there's that little ship, but we should be able to take that out later on. Oops. We'll add focus fire to him. Um, you need to come back, but go up. So we can get some front fire on him because he's got a very low shield at the front. And you, we can go back a little bit, go down, and we'll fire some missiles at him. Right, and those little ships should still be going now, going on their way towards the enemies. There, see, see that. That is the little ship attacking my ship. It will gradually just drain everything um, from my ship. See, it's being hacked at a moment by him. So we need to take him out. See, his hull has gone down a lot because we've already attacked it. And this lot are all on the way to attacking him as well. Um, but he's also got them attacking me over here. Huh. Okay. Alright, let's take these guys out first. Um, let's see what his shield are like. So on his left hand side it's down, so... We want to attack him on the left, which is this side. So that should be fine. Um, see, he's being hacked as well. What we'll do is we'll bring this down here. Yes, and we'll fire the missiles at him. He is being hacked by him. We should be able to bring him around here to attack him. And this guy, we're going to leave him. And we're going to bring him. You have to watch out as well because ships can collide, um, as I found out, and be destroyed instantly. Um, so we'll attack this guy for him. Let's see how that goes. Oh no 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 no! Don't don't crash. Right, so that bad guy has been destroyed, and it looks like they all took out the one that was attacking him as well. So now they've automatically gone after the nearest one, which is him. But we don't want that. What we want is them to take out that one. So they've both been assigned the Nemesis. Have those two ones as well? Alright, so it looks like whatever you assign the squad to do, uh, all the squads will do it. So that's alright. There probably is a way to separate them, but for this purpose it's fine. Alright, so if we go down here... Have we got any missiles? No. But we can... Tell it to focus on him. Right. Um, he needs to turn around. On it, Commander. Come up. But also um, attack him. He needs to go after him if possible. Um. Understood. I doubt he'll be able to take him out, but we can try. Um, and you can go this way. And attack him. There you go. Let's see how that plays out. 
you may want to play this in full screen if you're not already as well because it's going to be hard to see anything right so not a lot happened um, unfortunately I keep forgetting that I've got him as well um, I don't know whether I want to bring him in play though so make him go up a little bit right so they're all attacking or going to attack the one that I want them to have you got missiles now no okay but you are aiming towards him so that's fine um, have you got missiles nope okie dokie you should have missiles though. You do. Understood. Okay. Right. Sometimes when they hack you, they can disable your weapons. As you see down in the bottom corner, my fire control is one. Um, so what he's doing is he's hacking my fire com uh, control. If he gets. Uh, on the next turn, he's going to totally disable my fire control, uh, which means I won't be able to fire anymore. So this is basically the last shot that I've got quite literally like I said though you can repair um, if needs be but I should have just be able to take him out with these let's see if it works Commander, I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those oh. Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems but he's being stubborn we've already minimized onboard networking your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. Right, so as you can see, um, it only shot one missile. And the reason it only shot one missile is I have no fire control. So this guy cannot fire. Um, so I'm going to have to repair my fire control. Right, okay. Um, and do a retreat Sonic because <laughs> I can't fire. So there's no point in me even attacking. Um, those guys are on the way though, so that's fine. Um, let's just go back a few. Right, so in regards to these, hopefully we've got missiles. Yes, we do. Okay. Right, he's dead, basically. Um, yeah. <laughs> as soon as we get our missiles out, he's he's knackered. Um, that's got one more turn on that one. We've done that one. It is getting a bit close in here in regards to all my people. Uh, all my ships. Um, need to make sure none of them crash. That should be fine. Right, so if I zoom out a bit. There we go. So he's dead on this side. There, he's dead. Oh, maybe not. Um, his hull has 51. Okay, it's going to take quite a lot to kill him. Uh, right, you're going to go that way, mate. Because you have missiles and you can attack this one. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first missiles place. On their way. Um, I don't think this one has missiles, does it? No. Okay. Right, so you are all aiming for that one. Um, let's have a look at this. You have yes, no sir. missiles. No, you got to wait three turns. Right, so I'm just going to make sure that his focus fire is definitely on him. And uh, we don't want you to crash, so I want you to go there. Have you got missiles now? Yes. Right. Um, you are repairing your fire command control. Sorry. So we'll keep you near Not him. Commander. But not too close. And you can go over here, but turn that way. And you've got three turns. Okay. There we go. Let's try that. Let's 
because they're all attacking him. Not all of them are actually hitting though. Sir, <laughs> That's... Intel just confirmed oh. that Admiral McKenley died in the attack on Fleet HQ. With Admiral Sarkis oh. still missing aboard Galactica, Admiral Kane remains the commanding officer of Colonial Fleet. McKenley was a good commander okay. and a good soldier. We honor his memory today. So say we all. So say we all. So say we all. Right, I think that's scripted because that happened my first time I played. It's just happened just now. Um, yeah, because it's not one of my ships. So yeah, so it's definitely scripted. Right, so they're all a bit of a mess. <laughs> Let's um, do this one first. Right, so this guy is coming over here. This guy can carry on coming over here. This guy has a little bit of fire control, but I don't think he can fire yet. Let's have a look. I've got one more turn before I can use my rockets, but I should have repaired by then. Yes, Commander. Have you got rockets? Two turns. Three turns. Two turns. Guys, they've all just got normal shells. Missiles incoming. Right, so one of them has shot missiles. See, none of them can bloody hit him. He's a massive target. Surely they can bloody hit him. Um let's go back through these. Right. You let's take you higher. Have you got missiles? No. You can stay back here a little bit, but let's get on the same level as him. You got missiles? No. You should have missiles now. If my Weapon system is back online? No. So I've got to wait one more turn until my fire control is back. Yes, sir. And you've got to wait one more turn before you can fire. Okay. Right, come on, hit him! Hit him! There you go. Do we get him? Yes! Right, that guy is now knackered. <laughs> um, did this guy get hit by the rockets? Um, it looks like it did. His rear, his front and his right are all knackered. So what we need to do now... Because he's attacking me again. He's trying to bloody... He's took my fire control down to 8. Which means I can't bloody shoot again. Right, retreat. There's nothing he can do at all. Um, these guys can try and get back. You can um, activate boost for frustrus, uh, fr frustrus, uh, fr frustrus, but only going forward. Um, so we want to turn that off because we need to turn around. Um. Let's get them all turned around, and then we can concentrate on getting the thrusters. There we go. Um, yeah, that guy just needs to run away. Um, this guy can come over here to help. He has actually got some more guided missiles, so let's try and fire those. And let's see what that does. I don't know how many turns it's going to take for those to land. Oh, it's gone. There we go. This is cold. All hostile contacts are cleared. If you're finished playing nice the icon's toy, I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. They've already been um, notified, Sinan. Really? Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. Okay, right, anyway, let's uh, watch replay.
and see what it looks like um, in a breakdown of like just a couple of minutes. So, that's the end of chapter 2. Um, I'll proceed through this, just so you can see um, the debriefing that comes up. So as you can see as well, the load times aren't um, that bad, to be honest with you. They're not the fastest, but I've seen a lot slower. Admiral, Commander, we have a problem. The Idris relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Malfunctioning? What's our effective jump distance? It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's clouds before the Cylons can attack. Sir? We suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. I have the briefing packet ready. There we go. So basically, as you heard just then, the um, jump drive has been damaged or sabotaged kind of thing. So we can no longer jump straight to Helios Gamma. And um, once we've done the Cylon part, we'll create little waypoints where we can teleport to uh, teleport uh, transport to and um, to allow us to jump around the solar system a bit easier um, but yeah so I'm gonna keep um, make an end here uh, if you liked the content in the first or the second uh, video uh, please leave some likes and they will help me out a lot uh, leave comments if you've got any questions about it or if you want to see me do more videos um, on Battlestar Galactica Deadlock um, and also share it if you if you really want to and if you want to you can subscribe and um, i do get quite a lot of games before release and i am reviewing quite a lot over on squareso.co.uk uh, all the description um, links will be in the description below um come along and say hi on twitter or on my website or twitch um but yeah uh, let me know what you think and i'll catch you all in my next video